U.S. National Security Advisor has said Washington sees the rebels as a legitimate and credible interlocutor of the Libyan people. So why do you think the U.S. has stopped short of recognizing Libya's opposition like France and Italy did? Well, I think the U.S. are interested in stopping the revolution but not helping the revolution. I think the intervention was meant to corrupt and control the revolution for U.S. ends and not to um, give it any real life of its own or any capacity to, um, uh, to actually alter the situation in Libya in the way that the Tunisian and Egyptian revolutions did in, uh, in their country. So I think the, the object of the U.S. is to, to keep the, uh, uh, the Libyan rebels on a very short lead, not to allow them any real independence or autonomy uh, and to use them for U.S. foreign policy ends. Now, the French president, the British prime minister have met with the opposition, but the rebel leader was not accorded a meeting with President Obama. Do you think this is a shock for the rebels? After all, the U.S. is not the least significant country deciding their future. Yes, I think it must be a bit of a wake-up call. I, I think that uh, the, uh, the rebels were naive if they ever believed that the, the West was going to have an open hand towards them, that it was going to help them uh, and freely assist them in completing their revolution. Uh, Western aid always comes uh, with strings, and in the case of the United States, the strings are extremely short indeed. Now, why do you think the rebels are so desperate in seeking recognition abroad? Shouldn't they be ha perhaps be looking more at home? The opposition is strong enough to represent political power in Libya, or do you think it's uh, next in line to uh, fall in line with Western uh, goals? Well, I certainly think it was a, it was a mistake to go down uh, this route. As soon as you start appealing to the imperial powers for assistance, they are going to demand a price uh, for that uh, assistance. And it was always going to be the case that once the West intervened, the logic which was running before that, i.e. that sections of the regime would start breaking away, sections of the armed forces would come over to the rebels, that that was likely to be halted, that the people would see Western intervention as a reason to support Gaddafi, who perhaps had absolutely absolutely no other reason to do so. You can see now that people who even detest the Gaddafi regime um, uh, detest the Western intervention even more. So far from accelerating the process of the decomposition of the Gaddafi regime and accelerating the, uh, the process of the revolution, it's done precisely the opposite. So do you think it should be a goal of the rebels then to try and make themselves a more legitimate force within Libya by reaching out to their own people and trying to b build support from uh, grassroots? Yes, I think they need to send the signal very, very clearly that they're going to break the ties um, with the West. I understand the pressure that they, were, that they were under at that very delicate moment during the siege of uh, Benghazi, but I think they need to put that aside now and say, whatever the justifications uh, were then, it's gone horribly wrong. And we can see how the Western mission has gone from air cover to bombing, from bombing to troops on the ground, uh, from bombing uh, to assassination attempts against Gaddafi uh, himself. And that really should be sending a very, very strong signal um, to the rebels that revolutions either succeed by mobilizing their own people against a hated and unpopular regime, or they don't succeed at all. There's no easy route uh, to, to, to revolution uh, using the uh, assistance of the Western powers. What do you make of the coalition rumors that we hear about where and how Qaddafi is, what his status is? Sometimes we're hearing word that he may already be killed. Well, I don't think we've any, we've any way of substantiating um, those rumours uh, or, dis, or, or dismissing them, really. But what is clear um, is that the West is now engaged on regime change, is now engaged on raids whose aim is to kill Gaddafi, his entourage and his family. And that is way beyond um, uh, the UN resolutions. I don't believe the UN resolutions were correct, but this breaks um, the uh, terms of those resolutions uh, themselves. Many experts are saying that Syria uh, is not uh, Libya, but the current regime's deadly, uh, conducting deadly crackdowns against its own civilians. Do you think Damascus could be next in line for military intervention? Well, I, I certainly think that uh, the Syrian regime is facing a, a mass popular uh, rebellion. And I certainly think the thing um, that is different um, in that circumstance from the circumstance in Tunisia and uh, Egypt is this, that the United States in particular and the Western powers in general um, do wish um, that the Syrian regime could be overthrown. In the cases of Tunisia and uh, Egypt, they wanted to support that uh, regime. Um, so you can see that there's a certain logic that might lead the Western powers to hope that they could intervene, uh, perhaps uh, as in Libya, to use the revolution to unseat um, the Syrian government. However, 
Uh, if that's their intention, I don't think it's their capability. I think they're too tied down in Afghanistan, too tied down in Libya. They have emerging problems because of the impact of the uh, Arab revolutions on the situation in Palestine. Uh, so I don't think that even if they want to do this, they have at the moment uh, the capacity to do it. All right. Anti-war activist John Rees speaking with us from London.